it's so lovely to be, back, to be back, and especially back in Glasgow. We made it! Hooray! Right, we left school in 1978, Ed and me, and we had a record deal in 1982. So next year, that's 40 years! We're going to try and play you something from all those years. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ed and a song called Gift of Freedom. Yeah. 
Talk to Will, who is at the front of the stage. He's our actual official photographer for the evening. He's got a pass and everything. But I am just going to quickly suggest to Will that he doesn't just take fucking photos from down there, where it's the most unflattering fucking angle on God's earth. And it reveals us to not only be China crisis, but also Chinza crisis. So why don't you walk around there, come on the stage a bit, don't get in the way of anyone, but take some photos on stage, some action shots. If you see me doing stuff like that, get a shot of it like that, and start pointing at the lights, get that. Don't concern yourself too much about what, all right, don't concern yourself too much about what's happening behind me. They're just the guys in the band. Right? <laughs> well, bring yourself round. Right, so, how have you all been getting on? There's fucking too many of you in this room, I'll tell you that. There'll be a fucking new variant tomorrow, the China Crisis variant. Right, so, it'd be nice to get you to sing along a bit, but only if you feel comfortable doing so. If you'd rather, fo if you'd rather fo follow government guidelines, I can recommend you sing it in your head or into your elbow. Right, ladies and gentlemen, please sing it loud, sing it proud. It was our first single. It's a song called Africa. Do you know, you know if you see me going for the wrong fucking song, just fucking play it. Don't tell me I've introduced the wrong fucking song. Exactly. Now are you ready now? Yeah? Ladies and gentlemen, African and white!
give it to me. dedicate it to is. Can I dedicate it to all the mums and all the fellas that are here, to your wives and to your mums, because I wrote this song almost 40 years ago when I became a dad for the first time, and now my two daughters are now both mums. So this was about Molly, and it's so lovely to be playing it again for you. 
Uh, and don't worry, we will stop all the fucking dedications. Because <laughs> it's not a fucking wedding. It is a China crisis gig. But I just wanted to get you in that frame of mind, really. Because actually, it's another girly song. So let's kick the lights low, and it's Stranger by Nature. time we got you involved again and got you singing a little bit, yes? Yeah. Flaunt the imperfection, big in a bunch of feeling! Yeah. 
What do you do that for, man? In what do you do that for, man? What do you do that for, man? In what do you do that for, man?
last week, Ed and myself said we weren't going to say anything, but we thought if we get a moment, we will say. Now, this time last week, I was on stage in Cheshire, and I lost my voice completely from the first song, and I'm so glad it's come back in time for Glasgow. Now, what happened, what happened was the plot fucking thickened because about two days ago when we were rehearsing, Eddie turned up and his voice had gone. So, you have been so great singing along. It's been really special and has really helped us out a lot. The fact that there's too many fucking people in here as well, that's helped a lot too. Now, what I'd like you to do for the next song is when we played, Bur uh, where was it, Burry, a few weeks ago, uh, Lloyd from Ruins, the support band, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Lloyd filmed us in the back of the, uh, back of the room when we were doing Black Man Ray, and he filmed everybody singing the chorus. Now, there's about twice as many fucking people in here tonight. So I'd quite like it if someone could film this and post this. And just let everybody know just how fucking great Glasgow is when Charlie Bryce has come to play at Christmas.
have some hands in the air for King, everybody! In time, players, everybody, King in a Catholic style! tend to do the last song and then we'll do one more song after that but then that is it there's a curfew and the place turns into a fucking disco 
which I'm sure we'd like to all hang about for, but not really. It's been absolutely lovely seeing you all again. And, and we actually hope to say actually hello to as many of you as possible that can fit into that bar upstairs. We will see you there. It's been absolutely lovely, really great, really, really great. I only wish you could see my shoes for yourself. They're really, really lovely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been fantastic. Christian! Yeah.
Right. Like I promised, that was a fake ending. We're now going to do a tragedy and mystery. But the way we do it is, you know the melody line? Ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. I want you to sing that with me as though we're on the terrace of Glasgow FC and you just fucking got to be Edinburgh FC and it's 1-1. One -one. So we need, we need you to sing it loud, sing it proud. The clapping goes like this, bang, bang, bang. In the middle of it, Eddie and Eric are going to pay homage to Thin Lizzy, Scott Gorham and Brian Robinson. Eddie and myself went to see Thin Lizzy in about 78 when it was live and dangerous. We got to play football with Phil about five years after that. Five aside in Holland backstage at a festival. All I can tell you was he was very, very tall and very, very Irish and very, very drunk. But Thin Lizzy were an amazing band and Phil Linnett is sadly missed to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, Tragedy and Mystery!